Hi there! In a previous video, I compared the speeds between C, PHP and Rust, because in an earlier video, I had created this CSV find tool in C, and this is my first ever C program. So I wanted to see how much faster it is than PHP and Rust. But in my testing, I found out that the PHP version that I wrote was faster than the C version that I wrote. Now, in the video, I then went through some optimizations that I did to the C code and I got it to run faster than the PHP version. But the Rust version was still slower than both the C version and the PHP version. But pretty quickly after I published that video, I got a pull request of a new version of the Rust version. So someone made their own version and submitted a pull request. Now I tried this out and in fact it was faster than even the C version. So as you can see here from my test results, the PHP version was 0.78 seconds, the C version was 0.53 seconds, and the Rust version was 0.45 seconds. Now, sometimes the C version was a bit faster than the Rust version, so maybe the test is not the most accurate. But I think it's still a huge improvement because the first version that I made in Rust was like 1.7 seconds, but then, I also got a comment on my YouTube video that was saying you are compiling C without compiler optimizations and you're also doing inefficient file I.O. So I thought, wait a minute, do I have to set some flags for the GCC compiler to optimize the code? Because I knew that I had to do that in Rust. So if you take a look at my testing here, I am compiling the Rust version with the capital O flag. And actually, before I was using the cargo, so I did cargo run with the release, but then I changed to just the Rust C version and I used the capital O so that it does some optimizations. But I didn't do it in the C version because I didn't know that I have to do that. And uh, this is very interesting what happened. So let's first of all test this now. So if I run php test.ph and we are compiling and then we are running the scripts and then PHP was 1.17, C was 0.66, and Rust was 1.38. So now let's add the capital O flag to this GCC command as well, and let's see what happens. So let's run this again. We are compiling and testing, and look at this. It was actually faster than before. So now it's 0.55 seconds. But this is the most interesting part, at least for me. I was so amazed by this. So. If we go and take a look at the commit history and we go to the first version of the CSV find that I did and let's open this repository at this specific moment and open the CSV find and let's take the raw version and let's copy this and I will make a new version CSV find original.c and I'll paste this version here so this was the original version that I made without really thinking about any optimizations. So here the problem was that I was calling this two lowercase in many places inside this loop and I was doing all kinds of other things that slowed this down. So if I add this without the O flag, let's do C, CSV find test 2 and CSV find original and then if we run this, now I have to delete it here as well, test 2 and then if I now run this test, and this was amazing if I would actually add the test here. So we will have to add CSV find test 2 and then run this test. So we're compiling and testing. And now, as you can see here, this is the original version that I wrote, which is in fact slower than the PHP version. But when I add the O flag to this original unoptimized version and I run this, then it is faster than the one that I tried to hand optimize and I made run faster without the GCC optimizations. How is that possible? So I wrote one version and it was slow and then I wrote a new version that was faster but then when I optimize both of them the slower version is faster when it's optimized by GCC. That's crazy. Now I'm really starting to like C now because it can optimize the code so well. So even my first ever C program is faster 
than my PHP program or my Rust program. Now actually, this is still the old Rust version that I wrote. So let's test the new Rust version as well. And yesterday someone posted a new version of the PHP version. So let's go take a look at that. So here we have a faster PHP version. And here on the creator's computer, my version was 2.7 seconds and their optimized version was 0.7 seconds. And then they did something weird with these all kinds of flags for this command, which I don't know anything about. Apparently it uses the just-in-time compiler in PHP. So this was even a bit faster. And here you can see that the Rust version I made was 4 seconds and the Rust version that someone else made was 1.6 seconds. So let's actually take a look at this pull request and I think I will just merge it because it seems to work. And I really want to get into this PHP code. How did they make it faster? Like they're using array map here and array search and array key exists. That's very interesting. So they actually added the Rust testing here as well for the second version. Now I need to add the capital O flag to this GCC version as well. But I will in fact merge this pull request and let's test out once and for all which language is fastest. So let's merge this. Confirm. Okay. And let's do git reset hard and let's do git pull. So now we should have the newest version of the repository and we have the CSV find version 2 of PHP and test. So first of all I will add here the capital O flag for GCC so that we are actually comparing apples to apples. And I guess I should change to my original version since it was faster. But let's see. So let's first take a look at this PHP version 2. Okay, so we have input file, search term, header name. So it still should work the same way. So we can give a search term and an optional header name if we want to search from just one header of the CSV file. And then we get the input file, search term, header name, and we open the file and we get the first line and we echo the first line, okay. And then what are we doing here? Array map with an arrow function. So we are going to trim all the headers. Okay, so this explode just splits the first line into the actual headers and then we trim all of them, okay. Now, I'm not sure if this is really the optimization part here. I think all of it is in the while loop. But this is, wait a minute, header index, array search. Searches the array for a given value and returns the first corresponding key. Okay, so if we have the header name, then we search for the key in the headers. That is very intelligently done. So then, here in the loop, we actually check first if the line contains the search term. And if header index is null, so th this means that we didn't provide the header for searching. So then we just print the line because it includes the search term. Okay, that makes sense. Then we split the line by the columns and we check if array key exists in the header index. That is genius. So this will be the columns and the columns will have the same indexes, indices as the header index. So we just check if the array key exists. And then we check with SDRI POS. If in the columns of the index that we want to search for, we have the search term. Man, I feel pretty stupid right now. Let's see my implementation. So this is basically the same. I don't know why I have this parentheses here, because I think I had the string to lower here at some point. And I was too lazy to remove the parentheses. So here I'm just reading the file and I'm printing the first line here. So if the line number is zero, then we print the line and we add the header to the headers array and we trim it. So in fact, I have two loops inside each other, but the new version has only one loop. That is so cool. Yeah, but I think it will still work just the same. That's really cool. So let's now actually run all of these and see which one is the fastest. So compiling and testing. Wow, PHP 0.44. Wait a minute, <laughs> wait a minute. PHP, this is my version, 0 0.9. Version 2, 0 0.44. And wait a minute, this one was <laughs> slower with the JIT. 
0.47. Now I do have PHP 8.1 on this computer, so perhaps 8.2 would be faster. Maybe I should update. And this is the C version, 0.5. So PHP was faster again. <laughs> what? <laughs> PHP is still faster than C and Rust. No way. And this was my version of the Rust version, which is very slow. <laughs> and then the faster Rust version, which is faster than C, but a bit slower than PHP. <laughs> that is so interesting. Uh, let me see, um, did I delete already my original? No, I will add that to the test. So let's compile, let's do original, original, and let's delete the original and let's run the original over here. And let's see now, is my original version faster than the PHP version or not? No, <laughs> my original version is faster than the one that I tried to optimize myself, but PHP is still faster. Does this actually work? Let's run this command. It does work. It produces the right output. How about this original? It's the same thing. It's just faster. And C version, well, I can't actually run this because I don't have that. I need to compile them myself. So let's actually compile that and let's compile that and this one and that one. And let's see that they all work. So what do we have here? We have C CSV find test and we will give it output.csv, which is a file with like a hundred thousand lines and the last line contains wink pad. So let's run this, it works. And test original, it still works. And then what do we have? We have rust csv find test, still works. And test two, uh, what was it called? <laughs> csv find v2 test, that one works too. Okay, so they all work and <laughs> the PHP version is faster again. I was actually going to title this video, Rust is faster than C, but I guess it will be that PHP is faster than C and Rust again. Let's do this one more time, php test.php. And now we are 0.399 already. That's crazy. So if you think that you can write a faster version in C or Rust or any other language, then feel free to make a pull request to my GitHub repository and let's see which language is the fastest. That is so cool. Let's take a look at the results here. So is the PHP version faster here too? It actually is. So it's the fastest of all of these. So thank you very much to FezFez for making this new PHP version. This is amazing. And thank you for watching this video and liking and subscribing. And I will see you in the next one. Also, thank you to Alan910127 for creating the new Rust version and for answering all of my questions that I asked you in these pull requests. I really learned a lot from them. And also thank you to Yasinok. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing your name incorrectly, but thanks for adding these tests to the GitHub workflow. This is new to me, so I learned a lot from this as well. And I will merge this pull request just when I figure out how to make some changes to it. So actually, please do let me know in the comments if I want to change a pull request before I merge it, how can I do it? Now it says here that I can add more commits to this CI branch of this repository, but I don't really want to push to other people's repositories, even though apparently it's possible in this case. So I would like to modify this code so that it actually tests the output because we have this test here and it runs this Rust script, products.csv, sunglasses, name, and the output. But I actually don't have sunglasses in the products.csv file that is included in this repository. So I have the products here, but there's no sunglasses. So this test doesn't actually work. It doesn't test anything really because, because it will only return the header. So I would have to change that before I pull it, but I don't know how to do that. I guess I just pull it and then I change it after that. But I don't want to have the master branch like not working properly. But anyway, I will get to that later and I will probably make another video about this GitHub workflow and testing all of these 
versions of the CSV file too. So if you want to help with that, then feel free to make a pull request to create some tests or create a new version with your language of choice or make one of these faster. Anyway, that's it for today. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.